What's up guys? Welcome back to the Poker Vlog. This is episode number 27. For this episode, I play day two of the $1,500 Monster Sack event. 6,700 people entered, about 2,000 came back for day two, top 1,000 got paid. This was one of the most fun days I've ever had playing in a tournament. You're going to find out why in a minute. Hope you guys enjoy it. Day two of the Monster Sack starts in about an hour. I'm about to head over to the Rio. I'm coming, I'm coming in with 46.7 thousand in chips. I think that's around the average and there are over 1,900 people coming back. Top 1,000 get paid. Almost 7,000 people started. So I made it through over, you know, over 70% of the field already, but uh, there's still a ton of work to do. Think I'm gonna cash, buddy? No. What? That's not very nice. I thought I was your favorite poker vlogger. No, Andrew Nimi is my favorite poker vlogger. You son of a. Heading into the Rio, almost 11 o'clock. Hoping I can run good today. Hoping this is a long vlog. Once I get my chips out of the bag, I look around the table and it looks decent. Medium stacks on my left, maybe a few pros, a few recreational players, definitely not too bad overall. Blinds are 6 and 1200 with 200 annies. My stack is 46,700, so I've got some work to do. Unfortunately, the first two levels didn't go as well as I'd hoped. I got short quickly, but I did at least survive until the first break. It wasn't a great uh, first two levels of the day. I have about 30k left in chips. And, uh, how's it going, man? And, uh, yeah, didn't win any hands that went to the flop. I defended with Jack-8 suited in the big blind, and flop came King-Jack-6 with two hearts. Uh, we both checked. Turn was a deuce, deuce of spades. So there were two hearts and two spades now. And I decided to lead out for 2,000. He, uh, the opponent called. The river was another deuce, it was a deuce of hearts. I didn't think he had a flush since I figured he would have bet with a uh, flush draw on the flop. Figured he probably had like nines or tens or something. So I bet 2,500 and he called and he had a king-queen offsuit. So uh, it's a good, good check by him on the flop. Um, I think I ended up losing kind of the minimum there since I only lost 2K and 2,500 on the turn in river. And that was kind of it. I won a few times with ace 10 suited. I open shoved one hand and then I three bet shoved. Three bet shoved with the button with another time I had it. Uh, shoved with pocket fours pre flop when I was pretty short. Coming back from this break, blinds are going to be, I think, 1,000, 2,000 with. 300 annies. I'm real short. I'm gonna have to double up for sure. So, uh, 350 people need to bust till we make the money. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold on. When I get back from the break, my stack gets down to 12 big blinds. It folds to me in middle position. I look down at ace five of clubs and I shove. Luckily, it folds through. My stack goes from 24,000 to 30,000. A few hands later, I pick up ace seven of hearts in the big blind. It folds to the small blind who raises to 4,300. I shove for around 28,000. He folds, he says he has king 10. I'm happy to win and survive. Now it's level 14, blinds are 12 and 2400 with 400 annies. I've got about 33,000. Folds to me in the hijack and I shove with pocket threes for around 14 big blinds. The cutoff tanks and then calls for slightly less than my stack 
He has ace jack. The dealer puts out queen nine five. The turn is an eight. The river is a seven. I faded all the cards I needed to and somehow win the first flip of my life. The opponent packs his things and heads home. He's about 15 feet away from the table, then suddenly the dealer stops him and the rest of the table realizes he turned the nuts with the ace high flush. I was in disbelief, I was pretty devastated. I didn't even see the flush. Only 1100 were left at this point, meaning that we were 100 away from the money and I thought I went from having 70,000 in chips to now having less than one big blind. I was left with 2300 and blinds were 12 and 2400. After I put in the ante, I only had 1900 remaining. Felt like I was dying a slow and painful death with no hope. Luckily, no one made any needling comments after this. It's even worse than losing, thinking it held. Yeah, it's not good. This is it for me, though. Don't hey, man, chip in the chair. Chip in the chair. This will be an epic comeback, that's for sure. I get dealt pocket fours in middle position. It folds to me. It didn't really matter what I had, I was going to shove anyway, and that's what I do here. I grab my chips and throw them in. It folds to the big blind who couldn't fold. He has 9-3 offsuit. I'm very fortunate to only be up against one over. The flop comes ace 5-4. I flop middle set, but I still need to fade a deuce. The turn is a queen. The river gives him a pair of nines, but it's no good. I actually more than tripled my stack with this hand. The next hand, I got some pretty terrible cards that I had to fold. But the hand after that, I pick up Queen-10 offsuit, under the gun, plus one, and shove for 7,800. It folds around, and my stack is now up to 15,000. I have to fold the next two hands, then I pick up 7-5 of diamonds in the small blind. It folds to me, and I go all in for around 11,000 total. The big blind thinks for a long time, then ultimately gives it up. Now I'm at 18,000. There weren't any opportunities to shove for several hands after that, so my stack got extremely short. At this point, 1,026 players remain and 1,008 make the money. I'm super nervous that I'm going to be the literal bubble boy. There's no guarantee that I'll even be able to fold into the money at this point. This is a pretty brutal sweat. I've got 8K. I need 18 people to, uh, to get knocked out before I make the money. Blinds are coming up. I think, what are the blinds? 12 and 24. Uh, yeah. Got about 10 more hands if I fold. This is close. Not too long after, we get the announcement that only nine more players need to bust for us to make the money. Going hand for hand now. The first hand, I get dealt queen deuce offsuit under the gun plus one. Not a tough decision. I make the lay down. Next, we look down at king four offsuit under the gun and fold as well. Now I've got 7,000 with over one third of my stack in the big blind. But before it's dealt, we get some good news. Just made the money. Wow, I've got. I'm gonna break. Come back. I've got no chips left. That was. That was sick. Thanks, man. Nice, buddy. Nice. Nice. Congratulations. Holy shit. Ooh, that feels good. It's down to less than one big blind. Doubled up. Either two hands in a row or two out, two out of three hands. Um, pretty cool. I've got uh, 7K left. <laughs> and I'm on the big blind. We're on a break right now, 15 minute break. Blinds are uh, 1,500, 3K, so I'm getting it in first hand of, of the next level. We come back and I've already got nearly half my stack in the big blind already, but I'm just happy to have cast for a minimum of at least $2,250. I know I'm going to be putting in my whole stack any second. Please? Wait a minute. Yeah. Please? Maybe not. No. <laughs> oh, you get a double up. Nice, nice. The small blind folds 9-3 and I get the walk for a near double up. I'm forced to fold the next several hands and I find myself in the same situation again. I've got 7,000 total, 500 is in for the Annie, 3K is in for the big blind. Surely I'm going to be getting it in now. 
One of the big stacks puts in a pre-flop raised. I don't even look before throwing in the rest of my stack. We flip over our cards, and I'm actually not in terrible shape. I'm up against Ace-8 offsuit, so at least I have some live cards. The dealer puts out Queen-9-7, not the best flop for my hand. The turn is a jack, giving me an open-ended straight draw. The river is a king. We make the straight and get the double up. Time for my Teddy KGB impression. He has alligator blood. <laughs> I've got an okay size stack now. Two hands later, I'm on the button and look down at pocket aces. This is a fairly good situation to be in. It folds to me and I bet all the chips. The small blind folds, the big blind will not be pushed around and makes the call with king 8 offsuit for almost 14,000 more. The flop is 10-4-3, good board so far. The turn is a king, I would have preferred it to not be, but the river is a 5 and I complete the double up. The stack is now up to 38.5 thousand and I still have 13 big blinds so I can't quite rest yet. Not long after I get ace jack offsuit under the gun plus one and open shove. It folds to the big blind, he makes the call, he flips over pocket fives. Once again, I'm in a race for my tournament life. The flop comes jack six six, I liked it. The turn is another six. Now my opponent is drawing stone dead. The river is a deuce. We win and have a stack of nearly 80,000. We don't get a hand for a long time, it's level 16. Blinds are at two and 4,000 with 500 annies. We look down at pocket sixes in middle position. We've got 60,000. Seems like a good time to shove. That's what we do. No one wants to play with us. We increase our stack to 70,000. Then we get ace king of hearts under the gun plus one. We've got 17 big blinds. We can't just shove our bad hands. We stick it in again here. This time we get a taker, the player on my direct left calls, he's got me covered and my tournament life is on the line. He turns over his cards and I'm up against ace king of diamonds. The flop is almost as good as it could be, it's king 6-4 with two hearts and I'm free, free rolling. The turn is red, but it's the four diamonds, the river is an ace, so we chop it up. Our stack gets down to 65,000. We have king three of clubs in the hijack. Seems good enough to get it in. We shove, folds around. Now we're up to 75,000. An orbit later, we've got a six offsuit. Could just fold, but there aren't any pay jumps for a long time. And it just doesn't seem to be in the spirit of what we've been doing so far. We shove again. The hijack and the cutoff fold. The button has a short stack of only 25K and decides his hand is good enough to call an all in. The small blind and big blind fold. We turn over our hand and we're up against ace nine of hearts. Not a great spot, but even if I lose, I'll still have some chips. The flop comes seven, seven, five with two hearts. To win this one, I'm gonna need some help. While in the process of saying six of clubs, six of clubs the six of clubs appears. Still have to fade all the hearts and nines, no problem. It's the queen of diamonds on the river. I didn't double up, but my stack gets a big boost and I now have 100,000 in chips. If you're interested in learning more about when to shove and what to shove with from various positions, Corwin Cole from Crush Live Poker has a great video on this. He goes over the math and strategy behind push fold charts for multi-table tournaments. I just recently found it while studying for the main event. It's extremely valuable to know this stuff and can give you a huge advantage in tournaments. I'll have a link below in the description box for that. Now, after the a6 offsuit, I play one last big hand with queen four suited right before dinner. I'll get to that in just a second. There's 600 people left or so. Um, I made a few pay jumps already, which is great. I'm coming back with about 150k. I think blinds are going to be 2,500, 5,000 with 500 chip annies. I was below, like, I was somewhere around 15 to 20 big blinds for the last level, maybe, and I was a lot shorter than that, obviously before. Um, so I've just been shoving. I I played one one hand post flop that was awesome right before the last level ended. I queen four of hearts in the big blind. The uh, table chip leader had about 200K and he raised it to 10K with blinds at two and 4K. 
I decided to three bet to 25k. He'd been he'd been opening basically every button, and I just thought he might be doing it light. I had a decent stack, so I thought he might not want to get involved and just fold. But he called. The flop came jack nine, uh, jack nine three rainbow, and um, I was just gonna give up on it, kind of. Uh, didn't want to invest more of my stack in there. So I checked, he checked back. Turn was a five of spades, so there were now two spades on the board. I bet 18K to try to rep like an overpair or maybe top set or something like that. He, he called, I thought he might just be on a spade draw. The river was a five of hearts and I shipped it for about 55k and he snap folded uh, so that was huge that got me from 100k to 150k and um, 600 left feeling feeling pretty good but I still don't have a ton of uh, ton of big blinds I have about 30 big blinds gonna need to run good still we come back with blinds at 2500 5000 and 500 chip annies several hands in I get pocket queens on the button it folds to the cutoff who shoves for 55,000. I reshove. He's obviously not too thrilled. He turns over King Deuce suited. He's got one over, so he's not in horrible shape. The flop comes Ace Jack 4 Rainbow. The turn is a 5, giving him a gut shot straight draw. The river is another 4. I get the win and have over 230,000 in chips. Not much happens in level 18. I basically maintain my stack. There's still a lot of people left, but we're doing great with only two more levels to play before heading into day three. I'm in really good shape. We're at the last break on the night. I've got 235K, so uh, <clears throat> I've got about 30 bigs when we come back. Blinds are gonna be 4,000, 8,000 with a 1,000 chip ante, so it's a huge jump. Um, 387 players left. Just going to kind of relax, play tight. How's it going? You didn't know how to block. Yeah, man. And uh, yeah, just look for good spots. Don't have to, don't have to, you know, rush anything. And kind of sit back a little bit and be patient. So that's the plan. And hopefully, I can go into day three with a good stack. By level 19, less than 400 players remain out of the original 6,716. Anyone who busts now is guaranteed a minimum of 4,200. It's great to make it this far, but there are still lots of players left, and we have a long way to go if we want to get the grand prize of a gold bracelet and $1.1 million. In the first big hand during level 19, we three bet from the small blind with ace queen of hearts and take down a nice pot to get our sack over 260,000. Then we pick up queen jack offsuit in the hijack and open to 18,000. The small blind makes the call and the flop comes queen 5-5 five five with two hearts and one diamond. The small blind checks. He didn't seem too strong. I put him on a small pocket pair. I bet 14,000. It's a small bet and figure he'd call at least once with a pretty wide range. He does call and the turn comes out. It's the seven of diamonds. The opponent checks. There are now two possible flush draws, but I really don't get the feeling he has one given the action so far. It seems like he has maybe a low pocket pair or ace high. I check, thinking this player isn't going to call a bet from me and may try to bluff the river or will check call the river light to get the showdown. The river is another five, it's the best card ever. My opponent checks. I've got a full house with fives full of queens, but it really looks like I just have a busted flush draw, ace high, or at best I'm holding a pair below queens. The player is older, I've seen him make some light calls, especially against some of the younger pros at the table. I go for a big bet of 60,000. My line really looks like I've turned my hand into a bluff. He counts his chips, then reluctantly throws them in. I turn over my cards, and a lot of people at the table were in disbelief. I got a great run out, and everything went according to plan. My stack is now over 360,000, which is incredible, considering just a few hours ago I had 1,900 and less than one big blind. I will certainly never lose hope while having a short stack again. Unfortunately, this was the high point of my day. I ran extremely well for five levels, but went cold during level 20 with blinds at 5,000, 10,000, and 1K annies. 
The good cards couldn't come forever, and without anything too noteworthy happening, my stack went down to 227,000. That was the last level of the night. I bagged up and was excited for the next day, knowing a min cash now is over 5,400, and we're only a few spots away from the next pay jump. Just finished up here at the Rio, bagged 227K, average is about 430 or something like that. 230 something people come back tomorrow. Uh, we're playing at 11 a.m. Really excited, um, still a long ways to go. Pay jumps aren't big for, for a long time, but happy with where I'm at, especially I'm free rolling this whole thing since I can't believe I had less than one big blind earlier today and I ran it up. Uh, I was pretty stressed out just about cashing this thing and then now uh, I'm able to make, make it to day three, which doesn't happen too often. So I'm gonna try and get some rest and make the most of it. That's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. I almost always read them and get back to you. Um, if you want access to the push shove analysis videos on crushlivepoker.com, I'll have a link below in the description box for that. The link will give you a one month free subscription to the sites. And then after that, it's $40 a month, which is super reasonable. Um, also, if you haven't yet checked out the offthefelt.com website that my brother and I started, it's a poker forum site. It's really cool. So there's a link below in the description box for that too. Be on the lookout for day three of the Monster Stack. That's going to be a super fun episode. And then I'm also playing the main event in a few days. And I'm going to put up some videos for that. Hope you're all doing well. Good luck at the tables. And I'll see you guys next time.